And so you can't just make up stories, make up videos, make up things that someone said when they didn't, because that would be the same thing as the Mark Bell podcast did to Coach Greg. And so you can't just talk about people and get everything wrong and not expect people to call you out. And so that's why I made this video, calling out Chael Sodden for calling out Andrew Huberman and getting everything back ass backwards. Coach Greg, and in today's video, Andrew Huberman seems to be making some insane claims. And in case you don't know who he is, the guy's blown up several million followers. Went from no followers to several million. He's gone mainstream. And with that, people are going to start looking for holes. People are going to start putting you down. Whatever you state, even if it's one sentence said incorrectly, people are going to call you out on it. And calling out Andrew Huberman is exactly what Chael Sonnen did. But did Andrew Huberman deserve it? And so what Chael Son is saying is that Andrew Huberman has stated that if you go in a cold shower, you can boost your testosterone levels by fourfold. Chael Sonnen, a guy's an elite athlete, he's competed in the UFC, Hall of Famer, guy saying there's no way that that's possible. That he's literally done the cold showers, the cold plunges, and there's no way it can boost his testosterone levels by that much. That he quite literally is not natty. That he's injected testosterone himself, and that it never even increased his own testosterone by fourfold. Mm -hmm. He has a big target on his back because what you said, Mark, like he went from zero to two million subscribers, what seems like in a couple of weeks. And so I did my due diligence. I did everything in my power that I could do to find out whether or not Andrew Huberman actually said in a video that testosterone levels can be increased fourfold by cold plunge, cold showers, and so on. I literally wrote chill on him himself. Do you have the video where Andrew is saying that fasting or sauna increases tests or GH levels by up to that much? Guy never wrote me back. Andrew Huberman, I've drawn first blood, guys. I have a massive problem with somebody trying to sell you products, trying to look smart. And so is Andrew Huberman actually trying to sell us these products? Or is he just stating what the research says? Is he just quoting science? He's not being paid to say this. He's not sponsored when he says NMN works. When he says that testosterone can increase by two to 400 nanograms per deciliter by taking certain test boosters. And so why would he lie? Why would he lie? And so although he's saying that Chael Sonnen says that testosterone levels can go up fourfold, does he actually say it? The answer is no. I can't find it anywhere. He hasn't even said it. Remember, this is Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen often gets confused. He says things that he thinks someone says, but he's confusing with someone else. And so I personally believe that Chael simply made a mistake. He thought that Andrew Huberman was saying that testosterone levels will go up fourfold, but what he meant to say was it's dopamine. As we've all seen Andrew Huberman promote cold showers, cold plunges, cold water therapy, cold this, cold that. And so perhaps Chael saw it and heard him saying this in the background, perhaps while driving to work and said, oh, oh wow, fourfold. What was that testosterone? Dope, that's testosterone. Dope, I don't know the difference. And so I'm going to make a video about it. That'll sound good. I'm calling out Andrew Huberman. Fourfold testosterone. Yeah, I got him. And remember, this is same guy that said that just by looking at someone, he can tell if somebody's natural or not natural. Not only that, what exactly they're taking. We could do a drug test so good that it would go to one of those two places. You could do that. Or you could just have Chael son and look at the person with their shirt off. And so when I wrote Chael, I said, you know what would make the video that much better? If you included the clip of Andrew Huberman saying this, because a picture, it's worth a thousand words. But having someone actually say it, well, that's worth a thousand more. And Huberman is claiming <laughs> that through showers, just for one, he's got all four times. <laughs> just through a shower, that you can up your testosterone four times. What? No. And so is it not ironic that on the Mark Bell podcast, they're calling out Chael Son for saying this. They're saying, I don't think he ever said that. When they do the exact same thing to Coach Greg. Remember Paul Sklar? Well, I did a natty or not on him. Said he's 100% natural. I defended him. Derek, on the other hand, said, Paul Scar, guy, suspicious. I don't think he's natural. And so in the Mark Bell podcast, you know what they said? Greg Doucette has made a video about Paul Sklar calling him out, saying that he's not natural. There's no way you can do that at that age. I literally had to write Paul Sklar and say, did I not defend you? 
And so he said, yeah, you are there to back me up. You are the only one. And in this very video, when they're discussing what Chael Sonnen said about Andrew Huberman, they literally do it again. They do it again about Coach Greg's supplements. He was saying something about Duke, Greg set. <laughs> you always got to be careful. You put something in Coach Greg's mouth, he yeah. didn't say he will... He well, come for you. Here. Exactly. You misquote Greg. Say I said something when I didn't. I'm coming after you. And so you ready for it? You ready? It's going to happen right now. As Greg Doucette is uh, promoting one of his products. I don't remember what it's called. I promote it in every single video. Geo 2 Max, the main ingredient, NMN. Does anyone not know that it's Geo 2 Max that has NMN? Not Sir Kester. His cookbook. It's It has tricasterone in it, but it has a supplement called NMN. Have I ever once stated that Geo2 Max contains tricasterone? This, in fact, is my number one supplement. The best selling, the best supplement by far. Way better than creatine. Do your research. But don't start claiming that it's tricasterone and M&Ms when it's not. I mean, what's next? People are going to start saying, oh, Coach Greg is selling candy laced with tricasterone. It's not true. Picture Andrew here. <laughs> Been like in the shower <laughs> telling you, like, hey, you gotta do this. Yeah. I just wonder how many people just like were sitting in a cold shower, just like, mm, mm. <laughs> and so imagine Andrew Hooverman just saying this is a joke, thinking, I wonder how many people I can get out there to stand there and freeze in their cold shower, thinking they're gonna increase their testosterone fourfold. But remember, Andrew Hooperman does not do this. I don't believe he has a bad bone in his body. I do not believe he says anything that he doesn't believe. And what he's stating is based on studies. Whether or not they pan out in the real world, well, that is a different question. And so what he's doing is trying to be impartial. He's not saying, this is what I think or what I know. He's saying, this is what these researchers stated that they found in that study. Do with that information what you will. You get all these fitness guys together and they say that you can achieve certain goals Goals, that you could put on 20 pounds in three months of muscle clean. Yes, you can. You can, in fact, put on 20 miles of muscle in three months clean in certain situations. For example, you're detrained. You haven't trained in a long time. You have muscle memory. You have amazing genetics. You literally got out of a concentration camp. You used to be 250 pounds of muscle. You get out of concentration camp. You're 110. You then start eating more, going to the gym. You absolutely can put on 20 pounds of lean muscle in under three months. They'll tell you that after a lifetime in it, but they'll never bring you the person they've done it with. And listen, I am as skeptical as the next one. I literally do natty knots on people, but there are certain people that actually have put on 20 pounds of muscle in three months. Not many, it's rare, but it is in fact possible. I don't know if if uh, he has said, like he's shown people, like if you said, said anything I, like that, but like, that's just funny that I we're pictured, coming full circle. I remember, I don't pay Andrew Huberman to say anything. He gets no percentage of sales. He's not a sponsored athlete and he has no reason to lie. He is not making any money off the sale of NMN. And so when he says NMN works in the real world, double blind, placebo controlled, human studies show that it works, that he's trying to give them a ton of energy. I will say with NMN, a couple of things happen. First of all, energy, my recovery from workouts, much better. He's not lying. Jail Sonnen's like producer. Hey man, I, I found this video. We should do something about, you want to do that today? He's like, yeah, of course. I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> exactly. I think it's a lot more like what Mark Bell's saying. Andrew Huberman said something about testosterone levels going up two to 400. And Chael says, oh, four, four times more? Oh, it can't be that. I'm doing a video on it. I don't take a great joy in doing this with Huberman. I don't have a choice because somebody that I respect, somebody that I go to for information, Derek, more plates, more dates, pushed out. And so Chael Sonnen, he said, I'm losing respect for Derek. Derek pushed out when he was talking to Andrew Huberman. He knew he was not telling the truth and never called him out on it. This was a real blow to watch Derek bitch out from confrontation just because the guy was polite and had a lab at Stanford. And so does Coach Greg puss out? Am I scared to confront anyone about anything or do I tell you exactly what I think? And so remember when Andrew Huberman stated that Michael Phelps, the reason he could eat so much food is because the water, well, it burns more calories? Well, did you watch my video? I called him out, said, no, Andrew Huberman, you are wrong. We all make mistakes. We all make errors. Even Coach Greg, I don't claim to be perfect. When have I said 100% of the things that I've said are 100% true? Never said it. Perhaps it's 98%. Used to joke around, said 98% of the time I'm right. Perhaps 99. But I do make mistakes. Yeah, I'm not a neuroscientist. I don't have a PhD. 
But I do have a master's in exercise physiology, and I do understand this more than Andrew Huberman. And so Andrew Huberman, he made a mistake. I proved it in the video. Yet SEAL people are arguing, Coach Reg, you're wrong. Oh, Andrew Huberman is a PhD, knows way more than you. Yeah, he knows more than me, but not about everything. So when you have a guy like Huberman that's coming out with just, just nonsense, fasting will up your testosterone. Scientific proof your growth hormone could go up four times if you sauna. And so did Andrew Huberman actually say that your testosterone levels can go up four times if you sauna? I don't think so. But if he did state it, most likely it's related to growth hormone and growth hormone can spike tremendously for a few minutes, but it has no impact on your ability to build muscle. And so just because you spike your growth hormone by fourfold, or as Dr. Eric Berg said, by over 700% by sprinting, or if it's up by fasting, it doesn't mean it's going to have any application to building more muscle. And certainly that does not disprove that someone who's natural, that it's possible that they put on 20 pounds of lean tissue, aka muscle, in three months. He's saying these things knowing that the group that he's saying it to is never going to do it and never has done it. Like this is never actually going to get tested. And so Chael Son is saying that Andrew Huberman makes all these bold statements, these lies, because he knows that no one is going to dare call him out on it but that he he's the first one to ever call out Andrew Huberman, that even Derek pussied out and that he's losing respect on him. Literally type in, Huberman got it wrong. It's from two months ago. And so am I a chicken? Am I scared to call out anyone? Of course not. And so as much as we like the guy and as smarty as he is, on this particular topic, he chose the wrong word. And so somebody's making a mistake, saying BS or lying. Well, Coach Reg, I call it out. And at the same time, if they're saying something good, something that makes sense that I think that the people should hear, I'm also going to make a video. I don't just call out the bad. I call it the good, the bad, and the ugly. And so when I say Andrew Huberman is a great source of information that I highly recommend you go and follow him, I stand by this. Is he always going to be perfect? Will he never make a mistake? Of course not. Nobody is perfect. But the vast majority of the time, the guy has quality information to help the world. It's one of these things, like you can get away with it so long. Huberman comes out with this BS story and I find it. What's he going to do now? And so when Huberman makes claims, he's speaking about what the studies say. He's not saying, I guarantee this, that it'll happen to everyone. He's saying, in this study, this was quoted. And I certainly don't remember a single time when Huberman said that testosterone levels are going to go up fourfold from fasting, from standing in a cold shower, cold water plunge, or even going in a sauna. I don't remember him ever saying this. But if he did, if he did, that's a big if, he would be saying what a study reported. I have taken endogenous growth hormone and endogenous testosterone, and I can't make it go up fourfold in that. I personally have my own testosterone levels way more than fourfold by injecting testosterone. If you inject enough, it's most certainly going to be more than four times higher. And Huberman thought he could go out and tell these lies as though you're not going to find that disciplined person. And considering that Chael's video's gotten close to 200,000 views, and that Mark Bell's also done a video on this, and that I've asked Chael Sonnen, and that I've looked at all the comments and not a single person has stated that they heard Andrew say this, I don't think he's ever said it. He's an educated guy. He believes it. But there's a reality. Whether he believes it or not, there's a reality that he's wrong. And so if you say something that Huberman said that discredits him when he never actually said it, I got to make a video. That's what I do. Do you get it? Do people understand why I make the videos that I do? Oh, Coach Greg, we don't like the drama. We want you to make videos about how to train effectively. Sure, here it is. No one's watching the video. Coach Greg makes a video about drama. Everyone's watching it. And so I present the videos that you want to watch. If you want to watch drama and learn at the same time, you can learn. This is about drama, but you've learned that you can't quadruple your testosterone levels by going into a sauna, standing in hot or cold water, yapping around, starving yourself, eating more food, whatever. You've also learned that there's no M&Ms. There ain't no candy in Geo2 Max. You now know there's no test boosters, there's no ectosteroids, there's no turkestrone. But yes, there is NMN. And NMN is an amazing supplement. The number one supplement I recommend to everyone. As you age, NAD plus levels, they are on the decline. And by supplementing with NMN, it's a precursor to NAD+. You're able to produce more energy. Your VO2 max can rise, you have more energy, become a better burner. And so who doesn't want that? 
Oh, it won't help me to build muscle. Well, what if you have increased recovery, more endurance? Do you not think that having more energy, being able to train harder than last time, recovering faster between sets, that that's not beneficial? Or that having more energy will perhaps motivate you to go to the gym, to do cardio, and to go longer and harder? And so how is GO2max bad? No known negative side effects. Had someone say, why not just use EPO? EPO, not only inexpensive, it's also banned by WADA, can't use the Olympics, and it's dangerous. And so, interested in GO2max, click the link in the description, 10% off code GREG. Your testosterone, your growth hormone, they're going, it's not true. Yeah, it's not true. It's ridiculous that he says it. It would be ridiculous if he said it, but he didn't say it. You see the difference? When Coach Greg makes drama videos, I have proof. I show the person saying this. He does not show a single clip of Andrew Huberman stating any of this. And so, to me, it's pure speculation. But guess what? It's his most popular video he's posted in weeks. And why? Because it's drama. Because people want to see the controversy. And so why do you think Coach Greg does these videos? You want to see it. Would you like me to tell you right now, you don't have to watch the eight painful minutes that he puts out. Would you like to know if you're tired during the day, how to fix that? Take your eyes and look up. Watch me. Are you ready? Look up. Did Andrew Huberman ever say that you can't be tired by looking up for 30 seconds? Remember, I have narcolepsy. I have doctor prescribed medication to help me with this. Sleeping, getting fatigued, it's a major problem in my life, a major hindrance. Not to mention the night terrors, the insomnia and so on. And so for me, sleep's important. I've watched Andrew Huberman speak to this and he's never said that it solves and cures all your problems. You'll never be tired. You don't need caffeine anymore. But he does quote the research. Hey, if you look up, it can perhaps give you a bit of energy. Perhaps it'll help you a little bit. Derek does not believe a word Huberman says. But Huberman was nice to Derek and he pushed out. I've spoken to Derek one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not making this shit up. He has great respect for Andrew Huberman. And so when Chael says that Derek does doesn't believe a word of what Huberman says, I don't believe Chael. Rogan didn't believe a word Huberman said. And so does anyone believe that Derek and Joe Rogan don't believe a word of what Andrew Huberman says, that they just humor him? Oh, let's just hear him carry on. Of course not. But to draw a distinction between Huberman and the Liver King isn't the world's easiest thing to do. Is that not a stretch? Is that not going a little bit too far? Huberman doesn't have one person that fasted, and I do mean not one, whose testosterone quadrupled. And so Huberman doesn't need anyone that has their testosterone quadrupled by fasting because he hasn't said this. You got it wrong. And if you didn't, please make the video. Send it to me. I requested it. I wanted to see the video because I too wanted to make this video. I was going to defend Chael Sonnen. I'm going to say, listen, we need to call out Andrew Huberman. There seems to be a problem. He's lying about testosterone levels. But he's not. There is no video. There's no proof. And so you can't just make up stories, make up videos, make up things that someone said when they didn't. Because that would be the same thing as the Mark Bell podcast did to Coach Greg. And so you can't just talk about people and get everything wrong and not expect people to call you out. And so that's why I made this video, calling out Chael Sonnen for calling out Andrew Huberman and getting everything back ass backwards. He doesn't have one person that sonnet and their growth hormone known as your IGF-1 track quadruple. It's dishonest, period. And so, chill, Sonnen, you're wrong, period. Subscribe, click the bell button, like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe, the bell button, subscribe, like the video if you liked it. Also, don't forget to watch one of the boops. And of course, follow me on the gram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro. And for cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, the Circle Diet Book, and my Harder Than Last Time clothing line. Did you know I had that? Please click the link in the description. Code Greg, 10% off. And we're also on Amazon, but not Geo2Max. This one can't sell it on Amazon. And until next time, I am out.